Jace Tunnel here, Mission Aransas Research Reserve at the University of Texas Marine Science Institute. Today I got something that uh, people ask me about. So there are certain times of the year where you'll find these big black drum uh, all along the beach and the bottom half of them will be bitten off. And so uh, you've probably heard of like when drum are running, stuff like that. Well, that happens a certain time of year and sharks love these things. So they bite out the back half of them. And so we'll find these things. Well, after they die, uh, you know, on the beach, decay, you know, you find just bones left. But lots of times we'll find this. And the bones, uh, th this is uh, interesting in that they look like teeth, right? It's because they are. But these are teeth that are down, they're called pharyngeal teeth of the black drum, and they're down inside uh, the throat. And so this is the bottom plate, and what I have in my hand here are the teeth that fall out. And so uh, what you have, watch, this will probably just, see they're falling out already. So I found this one, and these teeth are just falling out. So after a while, they don't just stick in there. They, they uh, and I guess what I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try to glue them back in. But, but what a cool deal. Now, why would they need this? Here's the top plate. There's actually two of these, and they crush stuff like this. It's like boom, boom, boom. They crush uh, mollusks and crabs. You know, they're uh, bottom feeders. And so uh, these big black drum, they can crush almost anything in here back in their throat. So that if you see one of these on the beach, now you know. Okay, you got any questions? Let me know. I'll try to answer them. Till next time, we'll see you later. Bye.